आई एम डी एच ओब्लक नवर लेक्चरर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ अप्लाइड साइंस ऑफ एस जे पी एंड ट्रस्ट पॉलिटेक्निक नीडसोसी टुडे इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू गिव ए लेक्चर ऑफ दी सी ई टी टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी ऑफ अप्लाइड साइंस यूनिट नंबर फाइव मॉडर्न फिजिक्स सो दिस चैप्टर इज ऑफ फाइव आवर्स इन यूर डी सी टी सिलेबस इट कैरीज फाइव मार्क्स इन यूर डी सी टी एग्जामिनेशन सो लेट अस डिस्कस अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस सिलेबस so the first heading is electromagnetic waves so we have studied in your wave motion on basis of medium there are two types of waves mechanical waves and non mechanical waves so this non mechanical waves are called as electromagnetic waves so electromagnetic wave was experimentally demonstrated by one of the scientist so he told that when an electromagnetic wave is propagating through the medium or in a vacuum so periodic variation of electric and magnetic field is produced so a wave propagating at the speed of light so electromagnetic wave is moving with the speed of light light is an example of an electromagnetic wave by the periodic variation of electric and magnetic field so electric and magnetic field are the two vectors so produced in an electromagnetic disturbance in space and they are mutually perpendicular direction means electromagnetic waves are transverse wave are called as electromagnetic waves so electromagnetic waves are produced due to the periodic variation or oscillating electric and magnetic field produced in an electromagnetic disturbance so according to experimental investigation which are the example for electromagnetic waves radio waves is an example of electromagnetic waves which can propagate through the vacuum in space infrared waves so the wavelength of uh, light which is less than red color are called as infrared waves which are invisible x rays are produced when fast moving electrons strike a metal target they belong to the electromagnetic waves light is an example of electromagnetic waves so what are the properties of electromagnetic waves experimental investigation has given certain properties of electromagnetic waves so the first important property of electromagnetic waves are electromagnetic waves are produced by accelerating or oscillating charge what do you mean by accelerating if a electric charge is moving with very fast high velocity we call it as a accelerating oscillating means if the electric charge is moving up and down we call it as an oscillating charge so the first important property of electromagnetic wave that is the source for electromagnetic wave is accelerating charge or oscillating charge this wave do not require any material medium so without solid liquid and gas in empty space or vacuum they can propagate electromagnetic waves are transverse in nature so if you see the diagram of electromagnetic wave the electric and magnetic field are at 90 degree and it is also at right angle to the propagation of wave such type of wave on the basis of particle motions are called as transverse waves we have studied in our wave motion the oscillation of electric and magnetic field are in same phase that is oscillation are at same angle phase is angle electromagnetic waves are not deflected by electric and magnetic field they carries no charge they are not deflected for example when gamma rays is traveling in an electric field they are not deflected towards positive or negative polarity they carries no charge so electromagnetic waves can be polarized what do you mean by polarized if this electromagnetic waves are passed through the certain substance vibrations are brought to the single direction or in a single plane this property is called as polarization so there are a series or exam number of examples for electromagnetic waves for example light then ultraviolet rays infrared rays radio waves x rays so but they are having different wavelength and frequency so on the basis of their wavelength and frequency they are classified so there is a spectrum spectrum means series so electromagnetic spectrum so the entire range of frequencies of wavelength of electromagnetic waves arranged in ascending or descending order is known as electromagnetic spectrum so the types of electromagnetic spectrum are broadly classified into the following cases according to their wavelength or frequency ascending or descending order the first one is gamma rays they are produced due to during the radioactivity x rays are produced when fast moving electrons strike the target then ultraviolet rays so ultra means greater if the 
wavelength is greater than the violet light we call it as ultraviolet rays visible light the light which we can see through our eyes then light infrared whose wavelength is less than red color microwaves so which are which cannot be seen through our eyes radio waves the signals which you can send in space are called as radio waves which are used in communications so next laser so lasers are produced due to the interaction of light with matter so what is full form of laser l stands for light a stands for amplification means increasing the strength stimulation means making active when light falls on an atom e is means emission emitted r is radiation light is called as radiation so light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation refers to increase in amplitude compared to the light from ordinary so if a light falls on an atom which is in excited state so this atom comes to the ground state and uh, two light rays are emitted incident light and emitted light which are having same frequency wavelength we call it as coherent and this light is amplified we call it as a laser action so you may remember what is the full form of laser how the lasers are produced it is the interaction of light with matter so today laser is a new technology then what are the properties of lasers lasers are experimentally studied they are highly monochromatic monochromatic means they contain single wavelength extremely intense and bright brightness of laser is very high highly coherent the incident wave and emitted wave is having same frequency and wavelength we call it as coherent so when laser is traveling it is it, it does not change its direction unidirection can travel a long distance without divergence laser light can be sharply focused so these are the some of the properties of lasers very important then due to this important peculiar property of lasers what are the uses of laser application of laser laser is used in optical communications so laser can be used as a signal then laser is used in guiding missile in a war so missile that is it is used guiding missile in a war laser is used in industry to cut drill and welding of the material laser are used in laser printer you might have seen in computer laser printers laser are used in eye operation so eye operation is can be done without bloodless surgery so these are the some of them are in engineering some of them are in medical some of them are in communications and in computers so these are the some of the uses of lasers nanotechnology nano means 10 to the minus 9 very small in size of crystal shape so today we are having advanced technology by name nanotechnology nanotechnology is a branch of engineering that deals with the design and manufacture of very extremely small electronic electrical and mechanical devices built in molecular level of matter so there are nano batteries so there are nano machines so small electronic electrical and mechanical devices so this is the latest technology in engineering so what are the benefit of nanotechnology let us understand what are the advantages of nanotechnology so nano material can be used to improve the capacity of the battery so due to the nanotechnology the capacity of the battery has been increased so in medical world nanotechnology helps to cure disease faster without side effect than the traditional drug so there is a nano medicine which can cure, cure the severe diseases without any side effect nano sensor are used in defense to improve the weapons in defense nano sensor are used to improve the weapons so nano foods uh, are higher in preserved food without refrigeration without refrigeration the food can be preserved for a long time we call it as a nano food so without affecting from bacteria and diseases at the same time by using the nano technology what are the drawbacks or disadvantages the first main disadvantage is human health risk curve so the person who is working in a nano technology is is health is affected now today if you want to apply nano technology it is very expensive so the second disadvantage is, is it is very expensive so nano particles are very difficult to manufacture so in order to manufacture the nano material it is very dif- difficult to design and manufacture so with the development of nano technology nuclear weapons become more powerful and destructive so due to the nano technology the nuclear weapons have been made very more for- powerful which is used for destructive purpose so these are the some of the disadvantages of 
nanotechnology. Now let us study in this chapter the next term what is meant by communication system. So all of you know what is meant by communication, sending information from one place to another place. We call it as a communication. So let us define what is meant by communication. Communication is the process of exchanging information. For example, it may be a speech, it may be an image, it may be a picture. So the overall purpose of a communication system is to transfer information from a source of destination. So this information can be sent to a long distance. So today in your electronics you are having one subject a communication system. So some of them are old communication, some of them are advanced communication. Today we are having TV communications, mobile communications, then radar communication, satellite communications. So this all are the uh, name of the advanced communications. So in uh, in order in a, in a electronic communication, what are the different terms you are going to use? So the first one is the transducer. So whenever we are talking in a communication, the sound is is of a low frequency. It can may not be transmitted for a long distance. So an electronic device that converts form of energy into another is known as a transducer. For example, microphone is an example of a transducer. So which converts sound energy into electrical energy. So this electrical uh, signal can be sent to a long distance. So in a communication system, transducer is very important. The work of the transducer is to convert one form of energy into another form of energy. For example, sound energy into electrical energy. Then what is the meaning of signal in communication? The information converted into electrical form that is suitable for transmission is called as a signal. So the signal is a conversion of <coughs> information into electrical form by making use of microphone that is we call it as a transducer. So which is suitable for the transmission for a long distance. We call it as a signal. Then in electronics communication you come across a very important term transmitter. transmitter. What do you mean by transmitter? Electronic system that broadcast modulated electromagnetic signal towards one or more distance receiver is called as a transmitter. So transmitter is a single and receiver are many in number on the earth. So the work of transmitter is this uh, electrical signal, electrical form is mixed with a high carrier wave. So in order to travel for a long distance. So this is called as a modulated electromagnetic signal. So electromagnetic signal cannot travel a long distance. So it is mixed with a a high frequency carrier wave. So modulation means the process of mixing high carrier wave with a electromagnetic signal is called as a modulation. So in the study of electro electronic communication, modulation is very necessary. This is taking place at the end of transmitter. Then what is meant by receiver? Electronic system that enables the desired modulated wave to be separated from all other modulated wave coming into the antenna is called as a receiver. What is the work of a receiver in electronic communication? It takes the modulated signal and separates the carrier wave and signal. This process is called as a demodulation. So demodulation is taking place at the end of a receiver. So receiver is for example, TV is a receiver, antenna is a receiver which receives the signal and it separates the carrier wave and electromagnetic signals and it amplifies this signal. Then what is meant by amplification? So amplification is necessary in electronic communication. The process of increasing the strength of signal using an electronic circuit is known as amplification. So the electronic signal strength should be increased in order to transmit for a long distance. So electronic circuit is called as an amplifier. Next very important term is a range. The range of the signal is defined as the largest distance between the source and destination. Source is a transmitter, destination is a receiver. The, mag the distance between the transmitter and receiver is called as a range. So after understanding this one, now let us come, come to next point that is satellite communication. I already told you that. So today we are having a latest communication or advanced communication. So signal is sent from the transmitter to the satellite and satellite amplifies the signal and sent to the receiver at the earth antenna. 
so this type of communication is called as a satellite so satellite is uh, there are two types natural satellite and artificial satellite so what is the definition of satellite communication it is a mode of communication so in a communication there are three basic elements one is a transmitter second one is channel third one is receiver it is a mode of communication that take place between transmitter and receiver on earth through a satellite is called as a satellite communication so today we are due to satellite communication we are having number of tv channels so due to the satellite communication we are having the latest communication so by making use of a satellite communication what are the benefit satellite communication covers a wide range of broadcasting the broadcasting range of satellite communication is very large then satellite communication is used for mobile communication so mobile communication is an advanced communication the signal is sent through the satellite so mobile communication is possible due to satellite then what are the uh, disadvantages or drawback of satellite communication the cost of placing the satellite in geostationary state is very high what is meant by geostationary state uh, above the earth at uh, 3600 km the gravitational force is zero we call it as a geostationary state the satellite is placed at geostationary state sending a satellite from the earth to this geostationary state is very costly and today the geostationary state orbit is crowded many number of signals are crowded in geostationary state the signal from satellite are open to all so anybody hack can hack the signals the signals are open to air so anybody can hack this signal so there is no secrecy so these are the some of the disadvantages so if you get an objective question please remember advantages and disadvantages today we are having a a latest communication by name optical fiber so optical fiber is used to as a channel so what is an optical fiber it is called as a light guide signal is transmitted through the optical fiber so here total internal reflection take place optical fiber are essentially light guide used in optical communication as a wave guide signal is transmitted through the optical fiber they are transparent and dielectric and able to guide visible and infrared light over a long distance the physical principle what is the principle of optical fiber you may get a one object question the optical fiber works on the principle of correct answer is total internal reflection so in light chapter you are going to study what is meant by total internal reflection when light travels from denser medium to rarer medium light undergoes reflection through through its medium this process is called as internal total internal reflection so light is an electromagnetic wave it undergoes a total internal reflection so today optical fiber is used in communication to transfer the signal from one place to another place for a long distance without any loss of uh, energy so due to the optical fiber what are the uses optical fiber are used in communication system so due to, uh, with the help of optical fiber tv signal can be sent telephone signal can be sent for a long distance it is used in medical field so in medical field optical fiber is used to uh, examine the internal organs of the human body for example stomach and which is connected to the computer monitor and signal can be display displaced there so optical fiber are best suited for digital communication in electronics there are two types of signals analog signal and digital signal analog is continuous variation this digital signal means there are two discrete high level and low level so optical fiber are best suited for digital transmission and then optical fiber are used in a decorative lamp so you might have seen small children uh, decorative lamp are there so optical fiber are used in decorative lamp so this is about the uh, unit number five so which is of five hours go through the syllabus study properly and write the related answer thank you very much